Okay, another trig example of a trig graph, this time cosine, uh, or still cosine, and uh, this time we see that there's not just a horizontal shift, but there is also an amplitude change. So, going through the steps, first of all, we make our input angle equal to zero, to find our center, and uh, we find that that means our center will be at x at negative 30 degrees so that's where x will be if x is negative 30 degrees the negative 30 plus 30 is 0 that was the idea to make it 0 cos of 0 is equal to 1 and 2 times 1 is equal to 2 so that will be my starting point okay the next part is my center line which again is 0 so here's my center line and now on my center line I must mark off my period divided by 4 so I'm going to work out my period and divide it by 4 the period is 360 degrees divided by the coefficient of x which is 1 so it's 360 and that divided by 4 gives me 90 so starting at this point I must divide each my, my center line into units of 90 so 360 plus 90 gives me 60 the negative 300 uh, man negative 330 plus six, plus 90 gives me 60 plus 90 gives me 150 plus 90 gives me 240 plus 90 will give me 330 will be somewhere here 330 in the negative direction negative 30 minus 30 will give minus 90 will give me negative 120 now if I um, start here I must reach my from this point since I'm at my highest point the next point I should reach is my center line so now I should reach my center line here and here now I must, re must reach my minimum but to reach my minimum I must know where that minimum is going to be so that's why in the next part we find our amplitude okay again it doesn't matter which one you do first um, I like to do it in this direction but you can you can do the amplitude first and then the period okay the amplitude is how high it goes above the center line and that's determined by the positive part here and that means it goes two units above the center line since the center line is zero two units more than that is two two units less than that is negative two okay so at this point or these are my boundaries I should stay within these bounds and uh, now I can simply continue that at that point I must reach my minimum then I must reach my center line back here again and com and complete my graph here by reaching the maximum and from here I suppose I could go somewhere here I must reach my minimum okay but the important part is that I now draw smooth lines through these points Okay, there we go, and that's that graph that had a 30 degree horizontal shift to the left, okay, you can see it's a shift to the left, uh, even though this is a positive, the positive gives us this idea that it should, sh should shift to the right, but uh, take note, it's because I'm working with the input, uh, everything I do with the input has an opposite effect on the graph.